today I've got a very special scenario for you. It's poignant, actually, to so real world happenings. What's happening in the real world uh, right now, Kurt? <laughs> Uh, something I'll get is demonetized though, I think, if I say it out loud. So you three have all decided to move in together and have your own YouTube house. Why? Oh no. Wait, why? I don't even get a choice in roommates, I'm just stuck with these two. So you move to a very secluded neighborhood in LA. So secluded you only have three neighbors, Paul Jacobs, Ada Brooks, and Mr. Lee Crabtree. But more on them later, they will be important, promise. Uh, unfortunately, your timing is atrocious because some type of virus has started to hit the West Coast. It's been all over the news and no one knows anything about it other than people get the chills and faint so to be safe the government has put in a one-day quarantine starting tomorrow but you guys is cabinets are bare. I don't know who's in charge of getting groceries. Probably Ivan. Ivan only needs eggs because that's all he can cook. That's not true. I can also cook spam. <laughs> okay. So you head to the store and hit up the spam aisle for Ivan. And you notice all your neighbors are also there trying to get stuff for this quarantine. And then all of a sudden you hear someone screaming at the entrance of the store. Something's going on, but you're not too sure what. So first action. Do y'all want to investigate? Yes. What is going down? Uh, okay. Last time this happened, there was a homeless man trying to rob the Rite Aid. I don't know. No, so. <laughs> guys, we gotta see it. We gotta check it out, guys, please. I, I guess start checking out the commotion. You see people fleeing left and right, screaming, what is happening? And then all of a sudden, the aisle in front of you starts falling over. What? You guys panic, but there's no way out. The whole aisle starts tipping over. Someone pushed over the aisle. Ivan, what'd you do? Fuck, I don't know what's going <laughs> on. Is there a super sale? What? All the cans hit you on the head. All pass out. Video over. <laughs> yeah, and then you died. All right, thanks yeah. for coming to Rec Rio. It's been fun. <laughs> we died within five seconds. <laughs> so all of a sudden, all three of you wake up, but you're definitely not in the store anymore. You're in some room. It looks like an underground bunker. What? Oh my god, were we kidnapped? Oh great. I did not ask for this. <laughs> Why did that escalate so quickly? Were we just shopping for spam? You, you, you super confused. You look around. And it's like fairly homey in here. There's board games and books and potted plants. You also notice you're not the only ones there. In fact, your three neighbors are also in this room with you, which is kind of odd. Before you can think of anything though, the TV in the front of the room turns on with a shadowy figure on it. Oh my God, is this Saw? <laughs> <laughs> can we just acknowledge this is Ivan's fault? Listen, during a pandemic, spam is a very uh, affordable, non-perishable food. That shit will stay good forever. Oh, it's more expensive than normal canned food. It's $1.49. <laughs> How not. do you know? That's expensive. A figure comes on the screen. It seems to be a already pre-recorded video. Don't worry, everyone. This is all to protect you. See, things have gotten crazy outside, and the air is toxic. So I'll keep us all safe here in my bunker till this whole thing blows. Sorry, so this isn't Saw, this is Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> Who is this man? I'm just blaming Ivan. What? Somebody find Den a knife to stab Ivan. No, I'm just chilling. I have my box of board games. I'll, I'm, I'll sit in this corner. Are, are you okay? This is the one time you don't feel stabby, Den, and we're like locked in a bunker? <laughs> we're set. There's a virus. He's keeping us safe. I'm, I'm just gonna play board games. Is there a door I can leave? You notice a big door at the front of the room. Can I go and leave? <laughs> Chili walks up to the door and sees she can't walk up and leave. Uh, but she does notice a keypad with a four-digit code. Why do you guys want to leave? We have board games and food and we're fine. Hold on, hold on. I approach the keypad. Okay, I'll put in 0420. <laughs> the pad blinks red and a number above it drops from a four to a three. <gasps> Oh shit. Wow, Ivan. Did I waste an attempt? Thanks a lot. <laughs> First, you're the reason we got into this mess to begin with because of your stupid spam. Now we only have three chances. I really thought it would have been 420. That's a hilarious exit key code. <laughs> um, can I question the neighbors how they got there too? So who do you want to know about first paul no paul that's that's a that's a that's a basic name let's go somewhere let's go what the hell you're judging him by his name i want the first guy you're so prejudiced okay what is it okay mr lee crabtree is your neighbor from across the street he's like a six-year-old wealthy retired tech ceo he seems like he cares about his neighbors but he might be like a little like cuckoo and you can't really put on why okay what about the one to our right all right that's ada brooks she works in real estate and uh hates you guys uh mostly because she thinks youtube is not a real job and she definitely try to get you guys kicked out of the neighborhood when you first arrive. All right, that bitch can stay in the far side of the corner. <laughs> now, Paul, tell us about Paul. 
Paul Jacobs is your low-key obnoxious vlogger neighbor. Ah, <laughs> Paul what? Jacobs, hold on, it's clicking <laughs> now. <laughs> Paul is a pretty big prank channel. Do you have a feeling his pranks are as fake as he? I don't trust these influencers with two first names. I don't like that. I told you that name was, it was basic and sketchy. So I want to ask the old Asian tech guy. Let's talk to him. Can you ask him why he's there? Can you ask him why he's there? Yeah. You approach Mr. Lee and ask him that, and he says, the whole pandemic was really freaking me out, so I had to go to the store. That pandemic really is scary. I don't want to lose anyone. I'd hate to lose you guys All either. Right, I leave Ivan talking to Crably and oh, I ask no. Ada <laughs> how oh, she no. got there. Fuck that bitch, Ada. You go to talk to Ada and she kind of groans. Ugh, you people. You people? <laughs> He's also <laughs> racist. You, you two people. Oh, oh. I can't. <laughs> I was also at the store because I'm always prepared. But then that commotion started and somehow I got knocked out. Oh my God, this is Paul Jacobs. <laughs> this is for his vlog channel. Probably gonna be the same answer though. All right, let's ask Paul Jacobs from the, from the Team 12 house. Paul Jacobs like, yo, dude, this. <laughs> at the, I was at the store trying to film a video and then all of a sudden I got knocked out. Why is he British? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna be serious. This is kind of freaking me out though, guys. Like. I. Maybe it's best we're in here? I don't, I, I don't know. I, I, all of a sudden, pods in the back of the bunker open up. It seems they have a time lock on them. And then once again, you hear the pre-recorded voice. My time has fallen, so it's time for sleep. Everyone, please enter the pods. Okay. I don't want to sleep in a pod. Nothing good comes out of <laughs> sleeping in a pod. I don't- Dude, it sounds comfy. I jump in. Dad, why do you do these things? <laughs> no, Dad, don't go in the pod. Ada Brooks was like, Okay, this is definitely sketch, but I guess if it's only for one day and this is all just keeping us safe for quarantine, then I'll let it slide. So you kids better get in that pod. Shut up, boomer. Uh, Paul Jacobs like, dudes, let's just get in the pods, man. I really just want this all to be over. Oh my God, let's go in the pods. Do it for Paul Jacobs. <laughs> Mr. Lee is already in the pod. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Lee's ready to die. I guess if we're only here for 24 hours, we might as well just try it, but I have a feeling He's, whoever this is, is not gonna let us out. Yeah, I got like weird sex dungeon vibes when you said <laughs> mysterious voice and then keypad lock. That's the one that really set me off. Can, can I um, bring my my board games in the pod? Uh, th no one cares, they're sure. You can bring your board games into the pod. It's Yay! <laughs> all right, so you guys get in and all of a sudden the pod lock on their own. And, and a lock device that looks just like the one on the door lock right before you start to go off to sleep all of a sudden you hear beep one of the pods just open beep the front door just open who who left who left um you look outside and you can't be sure wait what's going on <laughs> after a couple hours the figure comes back and gets back into the pod what? It's Paul Jacobs! <laughs> it's him! This is a stunt for his vlog! It probably is. No, it's probably the old dude because he's trying out some new technology and he was the one who got into the pod first. Oh my god. So 8 a.m. comes up and all the pods open. You all are already all super concerned. All of a sudden, the screen pops up one more time like it did yesterday. Well, it seems that the government doesn't understand the severity of this situation. Oh my god. I've decided that I'm gonna keep you all locked up in here until I deem it safe. I wanna go home! It's freaking Lee! <laughs> Paul Jacobs kinda freaking out like, Dude, I don't know, man. I, if he's saying we should stay, I feel like we need to stay here. I, like, what, huh? what choice do we have? Kill Mr. Lee. Waterboarding is an option. Thank you, Den. Mr. Lee is shady. Old CEO in tech, right? He's old, so he's he's probably more susceptible to the pandemic. So he's very much more like, oh, we gotta not, we gotta not go outside. And he was the only one who was willing to go into the pod, no problem. Yeah. Let's see if Ada knows. You go to talk to Ada, but she's not really up to talking to you. How do I know you guys aren't the ones who are doing all this? Why do you keep pinpointing it on us? Because you guys are little YouTubers. I'm sure you want to do this for one of your vlogs with Mr. Jacobs. I mean, everyone here was pretty hesitant. Oh, except for Den to get into the pods. <laughs> and Mr. Lee. Lee went in super. Oh, we tried, we tried to leave when Ivan went to go put in the code. 
Ava seems a little bit more convinced, so she tells you her spiel. Mr. Lee's been going down a hill for a while. Ever since his wife passed the illness, he hasn't really been the same. And it seems like he's been going a little crazy. It's Mr. It Lee. really is Mr. Lee. We need to figure out when the wife died. We just shake it out of him. Can I just call him out? Sure, you can. Mr. Lee, I understand that things have been very lonely for you since your wife died. And I know you think this is what you want, so you're not lonely anymore to keep us all safe. But you can't do this. We need to get out. We have lives to live. Please let us out. Mr. Lee stays quiet. Fucking Mr. Lee. All right, here's the bargaining chip. We give you Ivan, and you could have him for the rest of his life. <laughs> oh, my God. So I feel like y'all need a hint. Of what's something y'all could look around to see? His pod. Go to his pod. Go to his pod. Whoa, I didn't even think of that. Check out the boomer's pod. He gets up like, whoa, whoa, what are you doing? Ivan, hold him back. Let's go. I am holding him back. The boomer is mine. <laughs> Ivan, hold back to Mr. Lee. You go into his pod, and after looking under a pillow, you see a picture frame with him and a woman on it. What? Open the frame. You break the frame. Yeah, what's right on the back of the picture? It says, I miss you, my love, 2004. Wait, what? There's no way that's the code. Okay, let's go do 2004. What? We only have three Shut tries. up. You wasted one. You don't have room to talk. So you guys all look at Mr. Lee Crabtree. He's like, I didn't want to do this. Crabtree pulls out a gun. Whoa. <gasps> At Ivan. <laughs> oh, of course it's me. I'm trying to help you. I don't want to lose another loved one to a virus. Okay, Mr. Lee. I'll, I'll sit in my pod happily. I have the code now. I'll, I'll just sit there <laughs> until all the... Den gives up. Can somebody tell him to point, point the gun away from me? Paul Jacobs is freaking out. He's like, dude, don't. We should just stay. There's a virus out there, guys. Like, seriously, just stay. Can I just grab a piece of the frame glass and stab, stab, stab? End his life. <laughs> sure. Wait, actually? Yeah, sure. Yeah! Wait, can Den have the honor? She's been wanting to stab somebody for so long. Den, yeah. here, you have the honors. Uh, thank you. I grabbed the glass. I trip and stab Ivan by accident. Wait, but I... <laughs> I already have a gun to my head. Why, why am I getting stabbed? I tripped. While then stabbing Ivan, Mr. Lee falls and drops the gun. Tackle him! Chili tackles Mr. Lee, and the gun slides over to Paul Jacobs, who picks it up. Mr. Lee goes, I'm trying to save you. Go to the door and type in 2004. You get off of Mr. Jacobs, and you walk to the door, and then all of a sudden you hear the gun cock. Wait, Wait, but Jacobs has it. What? Paul Jacobs is like, dude, the virus is out there. You can't do this. Oh, my God. Why are we? <laughs> Trapped a bunch of crazy. This is now battle royale. Zed, can you get out of your pot and do something? No, why would it get out? There's a gun, there's viruses, there's a sharp glass. It's dangerous. Yeah, out it's there. in me, Den. The sharp glass is in me. Jacobs, listen to me. If you want to stay here to protect yourself from the virus, that's fine. But let us leave. He's like, no, man. Because if you open the door, it gets all of us. I can't handle that. Mr. Crabtree asks you to let him go because he wants to talk. To Paul. No! We don't trust him! No! Mr. Crab, she's crying like, honestly, I've given up. Let me talk to him. Ugh. All right, let's. I guess he can let's talk. Let's let him speak. Yeah. You guys get off of Mr. Crabtree. He gets up and he says, listen, Paul. And then he dives on Paul. Get to the door! That's 2004! <laughs> get to the door! The door opens uh, and closes behind you and you hear a gunshot. Oh, somebody's dead. It's not us, though. Wait, are we all? Is it just me and Ivan who left? Yeah, Den's gone. Huh. It's Den! <laughs> I'm in the pod, in the commotion. I'm like, oh, damn. Can I trade Ivan for Den? Den is in the pod. No, I want you in the pod. I don't want you out. You guys escape and see the top of the end of the bunker, but then you stop, remembering, what if the dude was right and there is something going on? Maybe he really was trying to take care of us. No, thank you. I'm going home. You have a decision to leave or um, stay in the bunker? Uh, we are leaving. Not with those crazies. We are out of here. I'm still in the pod, so if Chili decides to come back. You are one of the crazies, Den. Okay, so you guys leave. And uh, as you said, he said it was in the air. So you guys are scared to take a breath. But you take a breath and you're fine. But the world is in chaos. It looks oh. like the apocalypse. Go back in the bunker. <laughs> Go back in the bunker. <laughs> you turn to go back into the bunker and it's locked. Ah. And you guys are stuck out here.
And Den's safe. Yeah. How did Den have the foresight to just sleep in the pod? I'm just happily in my pod. There's food? <laughs> what? That was an impromptu ending, and I don't care for it. No, I promise it was like that the whole time. It's based off this one movie, A Cloverfield Lane or something. So yeah, it's best to be in the bunker. Inside the pods and inside the bunker, all that food and water will eventually end, and you'll have to leave anyway, so you might as well leave now. Okay, but I'll live a longer life than staying out here with you. All right, well, you don't know that for sure. <laughs> Please, 2004. <laughs> Let me in. I imagine all of this them arguing outside the bunker. <laughs> That's a Listen, we can fend off every single monster. There's still a glass shard in my ribs that I can use. Moral of the story is stay inside. So yeah, that is the moral of the story. Stay inside. Den's happy right now. Y'all went outside like idiots when you weren't supposed to. Stay inside. 2004, Den! I have a board game. Stay inside, everyone. Please stay safe. Uh, hope you enjoyed that episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bye, everybody.